Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I'm Rebecca LeClaire. I am a board member, along with all these fine people lined up. You can't see them behind their masks, but these are the dedicated volunteers that help run the Pirate Toy Fund, and we thank you so much for joining us today. I want to uh, celebrate with all of you the fact that we are celebrating 10 years of the Toys on Patrol program. And it's just a wonderful program interfacing with all the law enforcement agencies and now today to finish and complete the entire Monroe County area with all the agencies involved. It's just a wonderful thing. I want to introduce the people who are here to represent their departments and also talk about the impact a toy can have on a child. We have Chief Mark Kazupoli. 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 Right. Thank you. Say it again. Kazupoli. Kazupoli <laughs> from the Brockport Police Department. Also, Chief Christopher Mears of the Ogden Police Department. Chief Mike Brandenburg from the East Rochester Police Department. Chief Dennis Kohlmeyer from the Webster Police Department. And Captain Kevin Riley from the New York State Police Troop E. Also, I'd like to introduce now uh, Otto Hardenschweger. He is our new executive director, if you haven't noticed. He's been actually the executive director now almost two years. But because of COVID, we haven't been able to be out in front of people as much as we'd like to. But now we're, we're starting this and we're, we're really going yeah. full bore. So thank you so much, Otto. I'm going to step out now. Guys, thank you again so much. The best part about this program, every one of these individuals in front of you today, when I called them and told them about the program and we wanted to finish out Monroe County, they didn't hesitate for a second to be, you know, be partners with us. They thought the idea was great. They thought the concept of helping kids in need uh, anytime there's an officer involved, you, you, it's unsurpassed. Uh, and what we do is we try to help those in need. Uh, that's what we've been doing. Rebecca, I got to give kudos to Rebecca. She's been with this organization since it started 26 years ago. She's been around with the media. Then she got on the board. She just, we can't get rid of her. But we tried, but she's here. Um, I also got to give uh, Steve Kavasic, who's with RPD. He's also a board member with that. He's our liaison through the agencies. He's going to tell you firsthand what a toy's done that he's handed out and what it, what what you know what the kids' uh, responses were. If you don't mind for two seconds. Yeah. Uh, uh, so a critical incident. Uh, you know, I, I gave uh, one of the uh, children a, a toy and just made their day. You know, something that it started off uh, not too good. You know, uh, it made their day. Police officer handed them a toy. Um, it, it's just a wonderful program. Uh, we use it quite frequently in the city. And, and, and I'm just ecstatic that we have the last four uh, agencies in the county to help us out with the program. Wow. And I, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you about Connecta. They're a huge partner of the Pirate Toy Fund. As you see, these toys are put into sealed bags, Ziploc bags to protect them. The officer can take these, put them in his patrol car, and hand them out in need if it's a domestic, if it's a a child just hanging out in the street corner it builds a rapport not only with the child but with the law enforcement officer that's standing in front of them so connected we couldn't do it without him and actually andrew myers who's here with us with connected he's one of our board members also but they help us fund this program they help us fund the bags and stuff so we again we couldn't do it without them so with all further ado i'm going to give it back to rebecca sure. you're going to handle the rest i guess <laughs> um, She's the better speaker of all of us, trust me. No, no, no. But I also want to mention these deck boxes that are right here over to the side. They're donated by Mayor Hardware, which is right there on Winton. Yeah, Tom Green. Tom Great Green. Guy, yeah. yeah, and uh, they have done this right since the inception of yep. this program as well. And so these boxes are handed over to the agencies so they can store all these toys, and then the officers are encouraged to go and pick them up as they need to refill their patrol car or if they have a special need, if they know they're going to some kind of event, if they want stuffed animals or puzzles or specific games, they can actually search through their little storage box. So that's a wonderful thing. I would love to invite the chiefs to come up one by one and so that the, the media will know who we're speaking to. But uh, this is Brockport Police Department Chief Mark Kazupoli. Kazupoli. There you go. <laughs> Mark, she can do harness for her. I don't know why she can't do yours. Eh? Hi, Mark Kazupoli, Chief of Brockport Police Department. I guess what I would say, first of all, is thank you for the volunteer work that you guys do. Uh, probably probably unnoticed by many. But in, in the smaller police departments in that, I guess, I guess uh, even up to the larger ones with the Rochester Police Department, 
we carry stickers with us. And the simple thing, small as a sticker, just builds that re that relationship with a younger person. And uh, it's all part of the community engagement. But to go to this level is making it that much better and building a future friend, a friend now, somebody that somebody can trust. So that's what I would say. Uh, specific incidents are, I would say, mostly domestic incidents where um, children don't really know what's going on with their mom and dad. And, uh, you know, we can be a friend to them. They know who to turn to. Thank you. Chris, do you want to just go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, folks. Chris Mears from the Ogden Police Department. Uh, just to build on what the other folks have said, uh, we do come in contact with a lot of children that are in just a, a their worst day ever, the worst day of their lives. It could be a, a bad car accident. It could be a domestic incident. Um, I can think of a number of, of instances where I've gone to motor vehicle accidents and there were children involved, uh, and they're, they're upset. Um, you know, their whole life has been literally or figuratively turned upside down uh, just in a heartbeat for uh, the police show up the fire department shows up the ambulance shows up it's very scary um, so this offers us an opportunity to make a, a positive connection with the child um, you know if, if you can if you can offer them something to, to comfort them in their in their time of need that's a wonderful thing and this is a wonderful uh, way to do that the, I, I'm looking around here it's like it's like Santa's workshop it's beautiful so uh, you know thank you to the toy fund for doing this uh, we you know it's a wonderful thing to take part in and we're very grateful for for all the donations and this opportunity to, to make that positive connection with the child so thank you thank you Kate. hi i'm mike brandenburg uh chief of east rochester um i just want to thank uh pirate toy fund for the opportunity to collaborate with you and the opportunity to to give toys to kids that are in a bad situation um really puts us in a different light in terms of, uh, you know, the parents might be having a bad day. Uh, we have to, uh, we're called there to uh, kind of dissipate the situation and the kids might be scared, like uh, just to um, respond to what Chris was saying. They're, they're already confused and they're not sure what we're gonna do if we might take parents away or whatever. So um, giving them toys and, and creating that rapport with them is a very important thing, and we appreciate Pirate Toy Fund for allowing us to do that. Thanks. Afternoon. Uh, Dennis Colmeyer, Webster Police Department. Uh, like Otto said, as soon as he called and, and explained the program, it, it was a no-brainer for us to, to get involved. Uh, building bridges is uh, one of our goals, and when we can do that with a with a child and extend something that might help offset the uh, the trauma they're experiencing, at least distract them from it for a few moments, uh, it's, it's an incredible gesture that we can make, and it, it helps with the, uh, I guess, long-term impact with the kids. So uh, I want to thank everybody for, for coming out and uh, bringing awareness to this and uh, including us in the process. Thanks. Good afternoon. Um, I just want to reiterate what everybody in front of me said. Thank you for um, this, this incredible, uh, incredible thing that you guys are doing and all the donations. You know, uh, touching a child in their worst need is something that we all, I think we all enjoy and all wish we could, you know, we wish it didn't happen, but you know, in those, those instances where it's really a terrible, terrible spot in their lives, if we can just give them a small bright spot, a little toy here and there to take their minds off it, I think that's phenomenal. Um, you know, we've all been to plenty of situations where, where this, uh, you know, the, these uh, items will be useful and we'll, we'll be gladly and appreciative that we can be a part of it. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. To date, I think we're almost at 16,000 toys we've given away with Toys on Patrol. That's 16,000 kids interacting with officers on the street who are going to grow up someday and thank that officer for doing what he did. So this program is huge by us. It's, it's huge by law enforcement. I think it's a win-win for everybody. And again, we couldn't do it without the patrolmen. They, they're the ones who buy into it. They're the ones who love it. It's another tool in their toolbox to help the kids that are in their community. So thank you, the media, for coming out. You guys have always been a big supporter of the Pirate Toy Fund. I can't thank you enough for that. Chiefs. <laughs> Chiefs and Cap, you guys, you guys are class acts. I, I'm so glad you guys joined. Now we completed Monroe County. This is our 10th year anniversary. And to have everybody, every law enforcement agency in Monroe County is huge in my heart, you know, being that I have a law enforcement background. So uh, we're going to do nothing but grow from here. So uh, thank you then. We're going to get the boxes out to you probably in the near future. 
But every, like, like Rebecca said, every agency is going to have a toy box in there, which again was all donated by Mayor's Hardware. And it's, the, it's an, an option an officer has. If he wants to grab one, he can grab them. And they can throw them in the trunk of their car. They're not going to get dirty thanks to Connecta. Um, so we're so excited about it. So board members, thank you for coming out. That's Every one of those board members do what they do out of the kindness of their heart. They're all here volunteering to help this organization, which is huge. So uh, any questions of anybody you guys have, you want to pick on a chief, go right ahead. Um, I'll step out of the way or the captain. But again, thank you for everything you guys done. Thank you for what you guys do. And uh, we're looking forward to the future.